Disclaimer. This is going to be an obvious video for advanced players, but for people returning to Classic or playing it for the first time, it's likely not on their priority list. The most helpful tip I can give someone who's planning on levelling a caster in Classic is to get a wand as fast as possible, because in Classic you drink a lot, all the time, endlessly. One of the many things you'll experience when you play Classic is actually running out of mana, which is something that doesn't really happen in Battle for Azeroth. Meet your new best friend, your wand. The most neglected slot by newer players. Using your wand helps with downtime and mana management as a whole. This means killing faster and less money on drinks from vendors early on. But the best part about getting a wand as soon as possible is how immense the damage output is. You basically chomp through the early levels with little to no problems because the damage output and speed on these things are kind of ridiculous early on. I find that half the time with early levelling I hardly cast spells because the wand is so efficient. One of the first wands you can get is at level 5, which is the best possible time to pick one up, but as a fresh player just starting out, there's a slight problem with that as you have to accumulate the money to purchase it from another player or the auction house. If you're watching this just before your classic launch, chances are you won't be able to get one of these unless you make it yourself at the very start. It's one of the first things the enchanting trainer teaches you, and the good thing about it is you only need 10 skill in enchanting to learn it. If you're planning on rolling enchanting and you're a caster, you'll definitely have the advantage early on as this starter wand will last you until level 13. On top of being able to have the best low level wand possible, you can sell it on the auction and make some pretty good money at classic launch. The next major wand you get is at level 13, the greater magic wand. You can pick up a few other wands on the road to this one, like the Fire Wand, Shadow Wand and the Blazing Wand. But as you can see, there isn't much difference between them and the Lesser Magic Wand, which makes them not worth it. The Greater Magic Wand will last you until around level 25 to 30, unless you go into the Dead Mines and kill Cookie to get Cookie's Stirring Rod. Alternatively, Hort can go into Wailing Cavern to try and get Fire Belcher, from a rare spawn called the Deviant Fairy Dragon. There are a few quest rewards for ones and there are a few BOE ones, but I won't go through all of them as I just want to cover the first few major ones you come across. A possible option for an upgrade for the Greater Magic Wand on Horde's side is from the Dangerous Chain quest in Hillsbrad, but the wand itself isn't really worth it. Same for any other ones Alliance players can obtain in that level gap from regular quest rewards. So to remedy this, what I really recommend is going down to Black Fathom Deeps whenever you can to get yourself the Gravestone Scepter. Fun fact here is that it's actually possible to acquire this wand at level 19, so it's great for Twinks even though it's designed for level 27 plus players. But to get it that early you're going to need help from a higher level. This wand will last you until level 35 to 40 quite easily, after that the upgrades are sort of all over the place and at this point you'll easily find your own way to get a new one. The worst thing you can do as a caster is underestimate the power of your wand. It's really strong and it can really help you out in all situations. It's a great tool for your rotation and it doesn't share a global cooldown with the rest of your abilities either. A lot of new players will spend a lot of time struggling before they realise just how handy it is to have a wand. Another thing I'd like to add is I've seen quite a few priest healers just standing around when they're out of mana instead of using their wand, which would actually help out quite a lot in dungeons. So this is a message to all you people playing priest healer and caster out there. Use that damn wand. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment below if you have anything to add. Until the next one.